Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to another exciting adventure here in the Smoky Mountains. We are near Mingus Mill right here. Yeah, we just have to follow this little path and then we're gonna get to a grist mill that was actually used in this area to grind down corn and make it into meal and other workable products. Now, this is important because it's historic, but it's also a beautiful, scenic, amazing way to see the Smokies stopping off at these little stops. So let's take a scenic tour through the Smokies and go to Mingus Mill. Mingus Mill is located on the southernmost portion of the Smokies near Cherokee, North Carolina. It is one of the first stops as you come into the park. Instead of going to the right to the visitor center, go just about a half a mile up and turn to the left. It is far less crowded here and absolutely beautiful. I can already hear the water and I'm so excited. This is a wonderful, amazing day to be out adventuring and we have a little bit of fall coming in with some changing of the leaves and it's perfect. As you can see, the sun is poking through just a little bit and it's making some beautiful colors kind of float on the water and dance. This is one of those places that when you come to the Smokies, you find dozens of places just to walk out and enjoy scenes exactly like this. Like, if it didn't get so cold here during the winter, I would probably relocate here. It is gorgeous. Now the path to Mingus Mill is one of the shorter ones that you'll find here in the Smokies. However, it is not completely even. So if you are coming out, make sure that you wear shoes that are going to be able to traverse some kind of slippery rocks and a few random roots in the middle of the path. Otherwise, it's a really easy path to get here. And like that, we are there. Okay, so now that we've made it here, how exactly does the mill work? Well, you actually have this man-made channel right here, which pushes the water down. And as it goes further and further down, they kind of trap it and use it to help turn a wheel inside of the mill house, which then grinds down the mill itself. Now you might notice behind me, we have a little waterfall and that is perfectly normal and okay. What happens is whenever the barrier actually gets too full, it flows over the sides and creates this area like this, where the water recirculates into the original source usually. So, all in all, we have a beautiful water feature to look at today because it has been raining. And right back here, you'll notice we're getting really close to the building. Now, we can't go inside the building. Sometimes you can, but not today but we can peek inside. They have the door where we can look in and check out what's inside. So I wanna show you some of these grinding stones that are outside and then what it might've looked like inside Mingus Mill.
Okay. When it starts slowing down, I lose my power. So I can't run it real fast because, which gives me my power, because I'll take my building apart. I can't run it real slow because I don't have enough power to operate. So I'm stuck in the middle, mediocre. That's it. I have mediocre. That you know, this thing. I run my pen sock full of water. When it's full of water, I've got 12,000 pounds of water in there. 12,000 pounds of water pushing down at three by three feet. When it gets to the bottom, it goes to a 15 inch pipe. Awesome. So I just pressurize it even more. See what I'm saying? Like, Definitely. It goes into the turbine, goes into this. It's going in these fins on all sides at the same time down through the bottom. It's gonna make this thing spin. Okay. So when you look back over here, you see that shaft is spinning? Yes. That's actually the turbine shaft. And this handle up here, this handle up here, it actually goes to a valve. If I open the valve up, I run my button faster. If I jump the valve down, I run it slower. I'm getting ready to cut it off. Okay? But if I were running faster, the only thing I do is I make sure I'm replacing the water in my pen stock as fast as I'm running it out. <coughs> as long as I do that, my pressure stays the same. Okay. As long as my pressure stays the same, my horsepower stays the same. So it doesn't make any difference whether I'm running at 30 revolutions per minute or 300, I have the same horsepower either way. Hmm. You see what happens, remember that water wheel? I can't run it fast because it'll shake my building apart. I can't run it slow because I've got no power. This thing doesn't make any difference. I've been running this thing all day at a slow speed. I am probably just looking down here. I may have 20 pounds of meal down there. Huh. That's all I wanted to do since I really don't have a use for it today. Okay? So, I couldn't run an overshot wheel that slow. Okay guys, so I'm gonna paraphrase just a little bit, just in case the sound didn't pick up completely because of the turning sound of the generator. This particular mill is a generator powered mill. It's not a water paddle. And I've seen both now. I hadn't seen a generator powered up until today though. Most of the ones that I've seen in Tennessee, Kentucky, and Arkansas have all been paddle wheels. But he just explained why a paddle wheel is less effective than a generator. The generator can actually crank out more rounds per minute without rattling and shaking the building to death. And therefore, you can actually grind twice as much, if not three times as much, meal in a single day. So, a meal like this would have serviced about 200 different families in the area. And in order for it to be a project that was lucrative to the person running the mill, he would have had to just cranked it out and cranked it out. This generator was not something that could have been purchased locally. They would have had to have ordered this one. And this particular one that they have here at Mingus Mill actually came from Ohio. So lots of cool facts out here at Mingus Mill. Now I hope that some of the information that he shared with us did come out so that you could understand it because he told the story way better than me. But if not, that was the paraphrased version via me. I hope you have enjoyed our little hike today, our short walk, our scenic tour to Mingus Mill. This has been a wonderful way to spend a day here in the Smokies. And this is probably one of my favorite stops, I must say. Lots of different information, absolutely beautiful short walk. And all in all, I would definitely recommend you guys check this one out whenever you're coming to the Smoky Mountains. Remember, if you've liked today's video, to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe. Check out the interactive map below so you can go on all sorts of other adventures, not only here in the Smoky Mountains, but across the U.S. Until next time, guys. Bye!